welcome to another video. It's been a little while since we've been on. Um, a couple, oh, several days, I would guess. Almost two weeks. <laughs> we've been taking a break, getting mental clarity, figuring out really what this channel is about, making sure that we don't put anything that would be, you know, um, boring for you guys and all that. But today, um, Liam has been given a job. He's almost 11 years old and was hired by his grandpa, my dad, to mow the grass. So we are over there right now and um, we're gonna watch first as Liam mows the grass. And then we'll, uh, I've got a special surprise in this video, a little freebie that I've put up for you guys. So um, just uh, stay with us and I will show you in a little while. This is actually Liam's first time really mowing. And I told my dad that um, if he, <laughs> I don't even know where he's going, he's supposed to be going around the front yard first, but I'm just going to let him, you know, figure things out and what he's going to be doing. He's going to have to do a lot of correcting because he obviously did not go, if you see um, right here, <laughs> he did not go in a straight line. So I'm going to have to do a lot of correcting for him and showing him what he missed. It's a work in progress, I think, but he's never had experience mowing a lawn. So we'll see. We'll see how he does. I might need to do a lot of correcting for him, but yeah, he wants the money. He's it's his first little job. He wants the money, so we'll see what he does. Helping your brother? What a good sister, bringing water. So we are home now and um, you can imagine it went as well as can be expected. Um, he has a lot of work to do as far as um, learning how to mow. He's not even 11 years old yet, so I think he did an awesome job. But we worked a lot on staying in the lines and avoiding squiggles, things like that. But I did have to eventually take over mowing. He did get tired. Um, there's a lot of, there's some really ma two mature trees in their backyard. So there's a lot of roots. And so I had to mow in the backyard for him, but he did most of it and $30. Pretty good for a 10 year old, a good day's work for a 10 year old. So my dad pays good as far as uh, mowing goes. But I did want to show you guys this new freebie that um, I put together. It is since tomorrow is the first day of September, I have put together a calendar of full of activities for homeschool families to do together. And I just wanted to show you, it's kind of based on the national days calendar, you know, where there's different, every day is a different theme, like um, national ice cream day or something like that. And so I did want to show you the calendar and there is a link down below where you can find it for free you would get this calendar in your email inbox and you can use it every day and throughout the month we will actually be having several videos doing the activities too so this won't be the first time this won't be the only time that i'll be offering it i will be continuing throughout the month of September and then and I'll be doing it every month for the next year. So until you can get a full calendar and doing all of the fun activities. So let me show you. Okay, so this is the calendar. It has every single day has your theme that you're going for. I did, since there are different options 
every day, I did end up choosing ones that would be best for homeschool families. So for for today, or for um, for the first day of September, it says create a no rhyme poem. So if you look, I've got my computer here. If you look, I chose this one, National No Rhyme, No Reason Day. So it gave you an opportunity to, as a homeschool family and making it more kind of like school friendly, I did choose uh, for you guys to, and for us too, to do a, a, a create and no rhyme poem. And that would be a really fun idea for either doing in your school or as just a family activity. And then let's pick another random one. How about uh, September 15th, have a linguine pasta dinner. So let's go to the 15th. And we have National Neonatal Nurse Day, National or Tackle Kids Cancer Day, National Online Learning Day, National Cheese Toast Day, National Double Cheeseburger Day, and then there's National Linguine Day. So I just picked... There's several to choose from, obviously, that you could do. National Online Learning Day. It's, I mean, I'll probably have other calendars also, but I just thought linguine was much more fun and kids like buttered noodles and stuff like that better. At least mine does. And then also, like, this one was one of my favorites, Hobbit Day for September 22nd. If you're a Lord of the Rings fan, you know that um, September 22nd is Bilbo and Frodo's birthday. So National Days did do that also. And then here's, here's one here on the 29th, create a craft using coffee supplies. So if we go to the 29th, there we go. So we've got, it's National Coffee Day. But kids can't have coffee day. <laughs> so, kids can't have coffee. So I thought making a craft using coffee supplies. So if we go to Pinterest, if you haven't, if you're not following me on Pinterest, you can do that here. My username is Our Humble Den. So follow me on Pinterest. And so you, I don't want my pins. I want all pins. So you can go on Pinterest for anything that you want. So coffee material crafts for kids. So you can do coffee filter seashell sun catchers. You can do coffee filter turkeys. That would be fun. You could do coffee ground fossils. That's a fun one. Space. But the point is you find a craft that is coffee related. You can even pretend to drink coffee, but really it's hot chocolate in coffee cups. I know my kids feel really grown up when they drink hot chocolate out of coffee cups. So these are just some of the many ideas you can use. And hopefully you understand exactly what I'm talking about. And like I said, this is the, it's to the theme of the National Days Calendar, which you can find at nationaldaycalendar.com. I will link that down below also. But this is just a lot of fun. I really do enjoy it. And and the kids and I really like to do themes like this. And I thought it would be a really fun way for you and your families to have a little bit of fun also with your kids and, and just getting a little bit of the monotonous schoolwork out of the way and just having a fun and having a relaxed homeschool day. Mm -hmm.